Hi, I'm Belinda Carley, the Director of the Institute of Personal Care Science. And today I'm gonna to show you a really easy and really cool way to put together an organic micellar cleansing foam. I'm also gonna give you a couple of little tips of how to achieve that organic compliance ratio you need when making organic products. So now let me show you how it's done. This is the product we're gonna be making today. So as you can see, it pumps out easily, it foams extremely well, and of course, it's achieving organic compliance. Now to make this product, I can hand mix. It's so easy to put together, but I'm gonna be using the propeller stirrer today just so I can use a glass beaker so you can see what's going on inside that beaker. Now in here, I have my organic hydrosol and my organic glycerin. This is a really big tip. If you're formulating organic, make the water component organic and it instantly boosts your overall organic input significantly. By using an organic hydrosol instead of water, I'm also providing a nice, mild, natural fragrance to the product without needing extra essential oils. So it's serving a couple of purposes by using the hydrosol instead of water here. Now in this particular formula, I have replaced all the water with a hydrosol. You could replace part of the water with a hydrosol and still have some water content to help save on costs if you want. But having the organic glycerin, having the organic hydrosol is one big tip, one easy way of achieving organic compliance with this type of product because instead of having water, I have an organic base. Now to this, I'm going to add my preservative. It's not completely water soluble, but that's okay. I'm gonna be adding some surfactant materials in a moment, and that will help solubilize that out. Now I'm just gonna give this a little stir just to combine uh, the glycerin with the water and that preservative just to make it homogenous. Now, here I have the very important materials to give us that beautiful foam. So I have here Tegasol 61. This is a super fatty material. This helps the product feel really nice. Uh, it also doesn't impact the foaming ability. As you can see, we had that really beautiful big foam. Here I have Symbiosolve Clear Plus. Now again, this is the Cosmos suitable solubilizing material. This particular material solubilizes extremely well, which makes it good for cleaning. It's also very mild, but it also foams extremely well. And that's what we want from a micellar foam. We need that foam in there. And finally, I'm just adding a little bit of a plant oil here. Now the great thing about this uh, product, this formula I've put together for you, you can alter the plant oil. This actually serves no real benefit in the formula other than the marketing story. So you might include just a small plant oil, small input of plant oil, another plant oil of your choice. And we just need to solubilize that in the first step. You don't want too much plant oil because it has no benefit in the formula other than to say the product contains it. And over here in the water phase, of course, I've used the organic hydrosols, but you could add other organic water soluble actives, other organic uh, water soluble extracts, again, to make the product truly your own with your own unique product story. So I just combine the surfactant solubilizer materials and then add this to my water phase. Then we need to give it a good stir. Now again, this formula is so easy to put together, you could hand mix it. I'm just showing you in the glass beaker so you can see what's going on. On the day you make it, there will be some extra foam. As you could see, I've kept the propeller well below the surface of the product to minimize the amount of foam that's produced. We want that foam. But that means while mixing, we're also gonna produce foam if we break that surface and introduce a lot of air. So we wanna minimize the amount of air that gets mixed into the product. Now we just need to check and adjust the pH.
and there we have it. Now on the day you make it, particularly if you're using the Symbiosolve Clear Plus, it will look a little cloudy. That's the day you make it. By the next day, it will be crystal clear. You'll be able to see straight through the product just like that. It's exactly the same formula. Uh, the day I made this one, it was also a little cloudy. So this is perfectly normal on the day you make it. By the next day, it will be perfectly clear just like this product here. Micellar cleansing foams are very popular at the moment because of the mildness, but still effective clean they provide. And that is done through solubilizing oils and makeup that's on the surface of the skin using some very mild solubilizing agents. The important thing, of course, is that you're using materials that foam really well, as you could see in this demonstration. And of course, I've introduced the organic element in there. You could, of course, make this with water instead of the organic hydrosols, but I've shown you how to create the organic product and meet the organic compositional requirements by replacing that water with an organic hydrosol, and of course, using the organic version of glycerin instead of regular glycerin. Please give this video a thumbs up. Please leave any questions or comments below. I was asked, how do you make a micellar foam? And that's why I brought this video to you. So let me know what else you'd like to see. Make sure you subscribe to receive notifications about all our videos. Happy formulating.